www.horoscopedaily.com. May 25th, Gemini. Curious, adaptable, irresponsible, moody, funny. The list went on and on as I, a nine-year-old little girl, stared at my iPad screen looking at these traits about myself. I thought if a few out of the list fit my actual personality, of course they were accurate. At the age of nine, we are basically clueless and knew nothing better. After all, we are in fourth grade. This was the phase where we realized that Santa, the Tooth Fairy, and all these fictitious characters were fake and are actually our parents. When I got over how these characters were fake, I became obsessed with horoscopes. And every single one of my friends, even including me, would say, oh my gosh, guys. This fit me almost like 100%. But who would believe in these absurd predictions made by the internet, right? Hello, my name is Eileen Kwan, and I'm a Gemini. I'm supposedly ambitious, sarcastic, kind, open-minded, and have strong leadership qualities. Like, whoa, maybe that's why I'm in ASV, because of my handy-dandy leadership qualities. Like, definitely, for sure. Why did I not think of that? Hey, look, guess my sarcasm trait is true, too. Yeah, no. In all seriousness, yes, people do believe in these nonsensical sayings. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, these are some of the few astrological or zodiac signs. I bet many of you here today know what a horoscope reading is, whether it be online or in a newspaper. But for the few of you that don't know, there are 12 signs, and you are assigned one based off of your birthday. They supposedly predict your character traits or future happening events in your life. Specifically, about 108 million people in the US alone believe in these. Not only that, but 58% of the 18 to 24-year-old group believe in these psychological readings. That's more than half the population in just that age group. These readings are so popular that they are all over social media. This includes Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, and something even as ancient as Facebook. No offense. Like, you name a social media platform, and they will most likely have something on horoscopes. We can even go as far as to get tattoos to permanently identify ourselves as our astrological sign. Some people even base their significant others on the compatibility of their signs and excuse their poor relationship with someone due to their sign incompatibility. And yes, I won't lie, at one point in my life, I was crazy about horoscopes since they occasionally matched my life. It would go from browsing through my daily horoscope every single day on Instagram and being like, wow, this is so true, like how did they know? to getting in the car after school and excusing my bad attitude towards my parents with my daily horoscope. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> there would even be times where my horoscope would read, there is a boy who has a crush on you. And at that point, I was squealing like those typical schoolgirls in a movie. Sorry to disappoint you, little me, but you were living a lie. My best friend and I would even go to the extent of avoiding any Capricorns thinking that our adventurous and playful personality would clash with their mature point of view of life, and that by somehow being a Capricorn would make them backstab us. However, I honestly understand why people read these. They are addictive and provide a sense of comfort knowing that our lives fit perfectly into a predicted phrase. We prefer to hear fictitious descriptions of ourselves to latch onto. And although I stopped believing these years ago, trust me, there are people out there who navigate their lives just by looking at their daily horoscopes, ultimately becoming a lifestyle. Some people may not be this extreme, but they still believe that their astrological sign defines them. But why do we believe in these silly readings? As humans, it is natural for us to be more drawn towards information that supports our beliefs. We tend to ignore scientifically proven aspects of life and fight fact with the power of fiction. This is called confirmation bias, where we take the supporting sayings or descriptions and apply the positive characteristics and events to ultimately interpret ourselves in a different way. Our remarkable brains are able to make 
connections between ourselves and notable details. For example, a friend can give me advice, and on the same day, my horoscope can read, you will seek and receive great information from someone. And at that instance, my brain would make the immediate connection to my horoscope as a Gemini, and boom, it rearranges the concept, compelling me to believe that, oh my gosh, the stars have aligned in a straight line. Like, how did it predict this exact event that happened to me? That's crazy. But it didn't really predict anything, rather manipulated my mind with a vague statement. Horoscopes are a basic mental illusion, targeting people's brains and tricking them into believing that they are a specific astrological sign, when in reality, horoscopes are Barnum statements. This means they were written like a one-size-fits-all to apply to anyone universally, but feels as if it is targeted to ourselves as an individual. Our brain is tricked to the psychological view of confirmation bias, where to tell that our signs are more applicable to ourselves compared to all the other signs. The words we read in horoscopes feed our creative souls, and we take it in to match how we see ourselves. We ignore and forget the false statements, but the supporting claims just become a part of us. When you snap back into reality and take a step away from the mind-boggling horoscopes, we are able to detect and realize that they only bolster the expectations of ourselves. We prefer to hear fictitious descriptions of ourselves to latch onto, rather than true facts based on science. The tendency of humans to believe in information favoring our view has the potential to alter and disorient our perspective, leading to dreadful decisions. So ask yourselves, is this fact or an excuse to ignore reality for comfort? And before I leave, I would like to give you guys the best horoscope for all the signs out there. Today, you have heard the best TEDx talk in the last six minutes. And I predict that you'll enjoy the rest of the TEDx talks as well. Thank you.